Hey beauties, welcome back to another video on my channel. How are y'all doing? Because I'm doing all right. If you're new to this channel, hi, welcome to my beauty. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. So if you're new, subscribe, turn on that post notification so you get notified each and every time I upload because I upload twice a week and free. So for today's video is one of those days where you just have a bad day at these nails and you thought these nails were going to come out bomb. But at the end of the day, I made it work. This, this nail was not one of my favorite nails. I mean, at the end of the day, I tried to do as much to get to a point where I like it. But this is the result of the nail. So today, I'll be using some clear tip and some silver glitter mixed. It's all mixed. So I have some white um, glitter, some chunky glitter, some fine glitters, and some very fairy dust glitter in, in this mix today. So what I was trying to achieve is some crystal silver nails. I mean, you have seen um, the trend going around where we have the, the glitter or some a color in the dead center of the nail. Not even the dead center, just near to the cuticle area. Um, and that's what I was trying to achieve. But you never can take clear for granted because clear will show up everything. It's not like a um, colored acrylic where if you stop bomb like that and then you proceed to go ahead, you proceed again there won't be a, a line of demarcation in with clear if you stop for a bit and continue going in with it you're going to get some lines of demarcation in the nail and that's the downfall in this video so i didn't exactly want to post this video because i felt like it was ugly but why is it that I'm only going to show the good side of my uh, work and not the bad side? So, I don't necessarily want to say this is bad, but this is not a nail that I exactly like. But, I said, hey, let me post the, the, the not so good that I think. So, I'll use some nail tips. These are cut out clear. Um, with the cut out clear, I was expecting a more flat I, I tend not to go for curve nails i really do not like curve nails um no matter if it was in the curve um cutouts i i thought cutouts i mean that's why i swim small so um more so to doing sculpted front because sculpted front allow you to kind of manipulate and work to how you want it to come out so yeah so I'll be doing this on my finger because the process is repetitive. I came on and just did two fingers to show you guys exactly what I was doing. I also want to show you guys how I proceeded to get the metallic background. I mean, a simple DIY. I am fascinated by DIYs. There's actually a video that I really want to post on here, but I don't know how that is going to go. So yeah, stay tuned. Please do turn on the post notification, comment, like, subscribe the bell to get notified each and every time i upload and follow me on instagram at bare beauty service services <laughs> so now i'm going in filing i didn't exactly like how these nails were i mean i guess because i'm so much into the copper nails i mean every nail that comes up i to me it seems broad and i like the tapered look the semi near to copper and not near to copper so i like it just between the tapered and the copper nails or sometimes i like i'm not a big fan of sellotes but i'll be sellotes here and there but i am more of a copper type of girl so i'm going with my sanding band from suzy no this suzy this sanding band is so good it's very quiet and i'm in love with it so now i'm taking the cuticle drill bit just to go around to smooth out the areas around the cuticle so it looks natural um there's a natural you know face on the um my natural nail and the the nail so yeah go around then i'll wash my hand i'll buff go ahead and wash my hand and then come back i'm going to show you guys how exactly i achieve this metal look behind it because i'm showing you guys the def the, the demarcation in the, the nails and it was just not working out for me so i went in with some base coat because you know base coat has a tacky layer I decided to use a base coat just to kind of adhere the product to the nail better. So I went in with the base coat, threw that for 60 seconds, and then went in with some eyeshadow. I didn't have any metallic colors, metallic powder. So I went chrome powder, not metallic. I, chrome powder, I didn't have any chrome powder. So I decided I was going in with some um, eyeshadow. 
some metallic eyeshadows and it was I mean it worked out I mean like I got the nail to look like the nail looking at it half decent but at the end of the day these are not the nails that I you know like so much eventually they kind of did grow on me but this is not the nails that I'm Nails are so fantastic, but yeah, but yeah. So I'm going to go in with some um, top coat and cure that for 60 seconds, and I'll show you guys the result. So if you're new to my channel, if you catch it, if you're skipping it, hi, welcome to Baby Follow me on Instagram at Baby Services. Subscribe to my channel. Tap the like button. Click the bell so you get notified each and every time I upload because I upload every twice a week, every week. And I also be adding some blend to this nail. So I mean, the nail is already fussy. I don't know why I'm choosing to add more stuff to the nail. But as we're coming down to the end of the video, guys, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Keep safe. Do follow all protocols that are necessary for your safety and your family's safety. And be safe, guys. Peace. I'm out.